Welcome back, and when we last left off, the guys were halfway through laying up this um, second uh, wing skin mold. So here you can see they put down the core and uh, just wetting that down with the resin and cabosil mixture and then getting ready to lay down uh, the next uh, layer of fiberglass on top of that. And here you can see we've jumped further ahead now and they're ready for bagging so they've got the um, perforated film which is the sort of orangey red um, plastic that's down there and then the breather fabric which is just like a, a cotton kind of cloth that allows um, it to soak up any resin that comes through the perforated film and uh, getting ready to put the bag on top of that. So now the bag's all on and it's been uh, sealed around the perimeter there using the um, double-sided uh, tacky tape that we have which is the one that's green and we have three different hoses hooked up in different locations there in order to pull the air out and uh, our red vacuum tank there um, holds quite a good capacity um, under vacuum there so it can suck a lot of air out of that whole set up very quickly before the pump comes on again and, and to uh, you know take the air out of there again so it doesn't take that long you know once you uh, crack the valves open there for the air to come out of that as you can see I'm sort of watching it in real time you can see it kind of slowly pulling down there and uh, we got a good bag on that one it wasn't like there was any leaks sometimes it's difficult to find a leak because you're just trying to listen for a little bit of sound uh, moving through you know a gap somewhere where it wasn't sealed around the outside um, but that one there didn't have any problems at all so anyway that's the second of the wing skin molds that which is the, sec the second lower one that's done now and uh, next week uh, the guys will be working on uh, laying up the first of the upper ones so um, making good progress with a wing skin mold so happy about that Here is the one that was done last week and as you can see the guys have been working on um, putting some foam, just two inch foam around the perimeter there just to create a platform for that one and, and to brace it up a little bit as well. The core is doing most of the bracing but anyway this is sort of adding a bit more structure. So that one's ready to be glassed over now. So this is the next day and this is the one that you just saw getting bagged and obviously has the bag off now and it's getting all cleaned up and uh, came out nicely so that one will be next for having its uh, foam um, braces cut out and glassed over and meanwhile these are the molds for uh, those f um, braces for the landing gear attachment points and so I've had to put a couple of bushings in this one uh, to align where the holes get drilled through which basically are the alignment or the pin holes for um, where the gear aligns and so Here's the other one and ultimately what will happen is you know we'll put the, take that mold off again drill those holes out put the parts back in and then be able to drill them out so then the holes will be lined nicely and then we'll use another bit to widen the holes to the correct diameter and we had somebody suggest not to use a kerosene heater for heating our oven so what we're going to try is uh, try this one of these electric heaters and see if that's going to give us enough um, heat to uh, heat our oven and if not we may try uh, a propane one but anyway, we've got this one and we're going to give it a whirl. Uh, just waiting on uh, the heavy duty cord to arrive. We had to order that uh, online. Uh, so once that comes in next week, we'll be able to um, fire up our oven for the first time and give it a bit of a test. And you'll see that next week. Here's that second uh, wing skin mold with the foam getting laid out there and ready for that one. And then this is the first one. See Roberto and Chris there are busy um, laying down the fiberglass and getting that all, all bracing all into place. And back to our engine, our turbo stuff has been all ordered and they'll be arriving middle of next week so I'll be able to start working on um, getting all the piping and stuff for that all organised. But anyway, in the meantime I wanted to um, quickly get the engine back on the hoist there so I could get it away from the test stand and um, bolt it up to the firewall there just to make sure that everything is um, not going to hit those little side sort of ears on the firewall and uh, the alternator there which is on this side and the uh, the air conditioning compressor are both clearing it nicely so no worries at all there so I'm happy about that so I mean you can put stuff in the CAD and think that everything's alright but uh, you know when it comes time to actually look at it you have a problem but anyway so I wanted to check that and it's all good on to the first of the outer door frame so this one you saw was laid up I guess a week ago now and it's just sort of sitting there and I've been uh, working on those hard points so here uh, Jeff is releasing it from the mold and again this is the five part mold 
and that was the last piece there so just basically pop that out and uh, as you can see so it needs to be trimmed off obviously um, but it came out nicely no real problems with that one and it uh, feels nice and uh, rigid for what we're looking for and obviously when it bonds into the rest of it uh, it makes it even stronger so I got it outside fairly quickly here and um, got out a little Dremel saw that I picked up a little while ago um, which is super nice it's, I think it has like a three and a half inch blade or four inch blade on there and it just cuts through that like butter so um, really didn't take long at all to trim that off and so you can see it's basically trimmed off for what we need um, remaining and then the next job was to sort of set it into place there, and it didn't take long um, and you see it sort of overlaps with that outside skin that was bonded into uh, the fuselage when we laid it up and a little bit of uh, just fitting there and I uh, had to cut it out around where the hinges are um, up where you'll see right about uh, there and that was the whole idea with the with the design um, but basically it fits there nicely and so um, got to put the hard points in behind there and then it'll be um, the last piece that's ready to um, bond into place so almost ready to do the fuselage now just got to do the other door frame now and closing out the week uh, Zach was pretty much able to get this one finished so this is um, the uh, second wing skin there so got the foam in place and uh, the, the guys uh, Roberto and Chris are in uh, Saturday today and they're uh, glassing that one over and this is the core for the first of the upper ones so that one is everything's ready now to lay that one up and that'll probably be Tuesday um, so that'll be the first of the upper one and this is the first one uh, that already has the bracing on it now so the guys will be trimming that off around the edge and getting that one all finished so making good progress on all the uh, wing skin molds. So the goal now is to lay up the other outside door frame and then we have all the parts ready so we can start bonding the fuselage together. So we'll have to um, bake that uh, main spar and then we can start um, bonding everything else together one step at a time. So exciting things ahead. Anyway, that's our update for this week and thanks again for watching.